Hey guys, this is Doombreaker again and I'm here with another tutorial for you guys. Um, today we are going to uh, make a program in Visual Basic that checks for internet connection. Uh, why is this useful? I used it to um, make a program in which you could um, enter a serial key and then you had the full version, so uh, some professional software. And what it basically did is if you type in a serial, it connects to my server with an encrypted key and it checks if the serial key is in my uh, serial keys file. Of course, everything was encrypted. And uh, if it's going to return a true or a false. Uh, but of course, to check that, you need internet connection. And that's why I made this and implemented it in the software to uh, check if there is internet connection. So um, let's see what it does. I put it in the load uh, section of the form just because it's a tutorial but you can use it in a button or whatever. Um, and that's why we have to wait. So there is an internet connection. Yay! And then just the form starts. So what are we doing? We are um, putting an if statement here and saying internet connection so this is a function by the way if that returns false then there is no internet connection if it returns true then there is an internet connection and this is the function so uh, what do we do here we are making a new request uh, to a website so declare rec as system.net.webrequest is equal to system.net.webrequest.create and then we put the um, the website of Google here why Google because it's the only site that stays up for like um, all the time <laughs> so uh, it's never down we could also use uh, YouTube for example, but if uh, YouTube is down for some reason, um, which I don't think ever happens, but you never know, uh, then uh, it would say that you don't have an internet connection even though you have one. So yeah. So this is the request. Then we declare the response as a system.net.web response. Then we put a try statement and we say um, the response is equal to the request.get response. So we are getting a response from the request. Well, that's a mouthful. And then we say the response.close. If the request is equal to nothing, no, not if, but the request is equal to nothing now, and return true. If the try statement doesn't uh, work, then the request is equal to nothing, and the return is false. So it's going to return a false, and there is no internet connection then. So that's the function, which is going to check for internet connection. But I have more to show you. This is the multi-threading version of the program. So um, as you can see, it uses some cross-threading here. So what I basically did is, um, let's see what I did here, because, um, yeah, so we made a new thread on the address of check connection, which is this sub, and it's going to uh, check for the function here in another thread. So it's going to do this function, and here we say, uh, no, here we say, internet, which is a boolean that I declared here, is going to be false. And here it's going to be true, which is just the same as the booleans of the function. But why do we do that? Because I want to show it in a label here. And that's where cross-threading comes into play. I can't just put this code in here, for example, because that just wouldn't work. Um... So that's why I use an if statement here. Um, you can also just use this here, but then there is no point of uh, creating a new thread. So if we debug this, 
you can see it's checking I can move the form while it's at it it's still checking and there is an internet connection detected so this is the multi-threading version of it I think I showed it in my multi-threading video or in my cross-threading video whatever um, but this is the in-depth tutorial on how to do it so uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time also if you like my videos please like them below it really helps me out a lot it really helps people find my videos and uh, if you like my channel if you like gaming if you like programming if you like design so after effects and photoshop and all that stuff uh, subscribe to my channel because there's more of that coming soon bye